Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, so as you can see, today I'm doing this super glam look and also if you're new here, my name is Alexis. Um, I love makeup. And this is the look that I created. It was actually inspired by Kristen Dominique. What was the last video that she did? It was her warm caramel mocha fall makeup tutorial. So I kind of did the same thing. I did like this warm chocolatey brown on the eyes except mine is a cut crease whereas hers doesn't have this harsh like cut crease there this is my first time doing like a matte cut crease and it's also my first fall makeup tutorial i wanted to do something a little different because i know when we think fall makeup we think of the berry lips and we also think of the you know, the cranberry eyes and the gold and the maroons and burgundies and stuff like that and the oranges. I'm not really a big fan of orange or super warm looks, but I do love the chocolatey browns and I'm getting kind of a 90s vibe from this, but like updated, more modern 90s. So anyways, if you want to know how I did this look, this is a full face glam. It's kind of a long one. I'm going to talk you through what I'm doing. You don't have to use all the same products that I'm using, but um, you know, you can use whatever you want from your own personal collection. And I hope that you like this video. I love the glow. I'm feeling it. I am in love with this look. So anyways, if you want to know how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm starting off with the eyes today. I am going to be working with some deep brown shadows, so of course I don't want to risk any of that falling down onto my foundation. Also, I'm starting with the eyes so I can apply this tape. I want a really nice clean line. I'm going for all the drama in this look. This is not a quick, simple look. This is dramatic. It's full face. Um, but it's given me coffee and cream vibes, so now I'm going to be going in with my Morphe Eye Primer. I swear by this stuff, it's going to make all of the shadows stick and look very pigmented. I'm going in with my Jaclyn Hill palette, or I'm just showing you this is what I'm going to be using today. You don't have to use this um, if you have something with some similar deep browns, use that. I'm starting off with this Wet n Wild single shadow in the shade Creme Brulee. It's just a really nice skin tone kind of color, and I'm going to put that right into the crease. I'm not really putting it on the lid, just because I want a nice base to kind of blend things out onto because the blend has to be really nice on the edges of this shadow. Okay, so now I'm going in with a super light shade, probably the first brown up towards the top of that palette as my transition shade. For some reason, the first couple browns that I go in with, they come across very mustardy yellow on camera, but they're definitely more of a caramel brown kind of color, so just keep that in mind. I'm still working with my lighting. Now I'm going in with more of a medium brown, um, and I'm focusing that more on the outer corner and then bringing what's left into the crease. taking one of the deeper, more chocolate brown shades and focusing that on the outer corner and then also bringing what's left on the brush into the crease. I'm taking the shades a bit above my actual crease, so where that crease in my eyelid is, I'm taking the shadow a little bit above that because when we go in and cut the crease, it's also going to be above my actual crease 
Does that make sense? My eyes are hooded, so I really have to bring things up above where they are hooded for them to show up. I hope that makes sense. Now I'm just taking the fluffy brush that I used with some of the lighter browns and making sure that that is still blended. Here, I'm really just building up the deepest brown shades in that palette, really focusing it on the outer corner, and then once I've got a lot of it on the outer corner, I take what's left on the brush, bring that into the crease, and I'm bringing it all the way on the inner corner. Now I'm taking my e.l.f. Camo Concealer. This is a really full coverage concealer. I'm putting it on the back of my hand because I'm using a brush. And so what I'm doing is painting the concealer onto my lid. And then I'm looking up to see where that light shade would have transferred if I were to just do my shadow normally. You can see it actually goes up pretty high because my lids are hooded. So. I'm blending that concealer out and really perfecting the shape. So you want it more dramatic towards the inner corner and then you want it kind of blended out towards the outer half or outer corner of your eye. And I'm just taking my time and really perfecting that nice rounded out shape, really carving everything out. Taking that same shade that I started out with, the creme brulee cream shade, I'm just taking it on a flat brush and putting it on top of where I placed the concealer. Now I'm going to be going back and forth between the brown shades and the cream shade to really blend out the edges of that concealer and make it seamless. So if you need to go back in with more brown, do that. If you apply too much brown, go back in with the cream shade. Um, mattes can be tricky because they tell no lies. Shimmers are very forgiving. But when it comes to matte shades, it has to be perfect. It's going to show every little thing. And now on a small detail brush, I am taking the brown shade and really making it more dramatic and intense where that cut crease is. And then I'm going to line my eyes with just a black liquid liner. I am winging it out pretty far to keep it in line with the shadow because the shadow's winged out pretty far. But I'm keeping the line itself thin because I don't want to cover up all the work that I've just done. Now I'm just buffing in my L'Oreal Pro Glow foundation. It's my absolute favorite. I love the coverage of this stuff. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my Makeup Revolution Concealer. These are like my tried and true. You're probably tired of seeing me use them, but I depend on them for my dramatic looks. Also, 
how do you guys feel about this music? Because every season I feel has its own kind of music. Like we have our summer playlists, we have our Christmas playlists, but when it comes to fall, I really don't know what to think of other than like acoustic music. Uh, let me know how you feel about that. I'm going to be taking my Profusion Highlight and Contour Palette in the shade 1, like the lightest one that they have, and I'm going to be taking the medium, not medium, the middle shade, and lightly contouring slash bronzing, bringing back some color and shape into my face, and then I'm going to dip a little bit into the third one, just barely, to have a more defined deeper contour I guess like I said I wanted this look to be a bit more dramatic and then if you go too far you can always take your powder brush and go back in and blend And now I'm taking my Essence Satin Touch Blush, this is the shade Satin Love. It's like my nude kind of blush, it goes with anything and everything, so I pair it with more dramatic or natural looks. And I go in really lightly, I don't want to apply too much because the eyes are so dramatic and I am going to be using a darker lipstick. Sometimes if you're using a really dark lipstick, um, you can apply blush after the lipstick. That way you can see if the lipstick really washes you out. That way you don't go too far with the blush. Now I'm taking my Wet Wild Loose highlighter. This is the shade I'm So Lit. They do make deeper ones. You can use whatever highlighter you like. Can skip highlighter you don't have to use it I just love the glow especially towards more fall and winter my skin actually starts to get more dry so I don't like a very matte look really ever but especially not in the fall or winter I still want my skin to look healthy and glowy Now I'm taking one of those light shimmer shades from the Jaclyn Hill palette and putting that on my inner corner just to brighten my eyes. Then I'm going to be using these really spiky lashes um, because I know that they're long enough to go with the look. Where they end goes really to the top of the shadow, like almost to my brow actually if I'm looking up. They're pretty dramatic but... I love them. Then I'm brushing any foundation or powder out of my hair and not my hair, my eyebrow hairs. <laughs> and then uh, just doing my eyebrows with my e.l.f. pomade. Let me know if you want a brow tutorial. I don't know if that would be worth the whole video, but let me know if you're interested. I do want to mention that I am doing this voiceover at 2 a.m. The video has to be up tomorrow. It has to be finished, I have to export it, it has to be uploaded, and I have to do the description box. It's all gotta be up tomorrow, so I'm just trying to get it done. I am really proud of this look, so I hope you guys like it. Um, I just concealed underneath my brows, I'm using a clear brow gel. 
highlighting underneath the brow bone. Now for lips, I didn't actually have a brown lip liner, so I'm using this L'Oreal Infallible Eyeliner uh, because it's brown. A nude lip liner really would not have done the job or what I wanted it to. So I'm just using this eyeliner and then I blend it in with the brush and work it in with the lipstick later on as you'll see. Now I'm going to take that same eyeliner and go over the lash band since the lash glue is dry to cover it up a little more. You can see a difference there. Put my earrings in and here you go. Chola. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I love the look. I hope you guys like it too. Let me know what you think and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.